Welcome to the COBOL IT Learning Center. Getting started with the COBOL IT Developer Studio on Windows. Getting started with the Developer Studio. In this module, we will review the interfaces for configuring a workspace in the Developer Studio. We will use the new project, new folder, and new program wizards. We will then show you how to compile and run a COBOL program. Finally, we will run a COBOL program in the debugger. Let's get started. Prerequisites Before getting started, the COBOL IT Developer Studio and the COBOL IT Compiler Suite Enterprise Edition must be installed on your Windows computer. For guidance, see the COBOL IT e-learning modules titled Installing COBOL IT Compiler Suite Enterprise Edition on Windows, and Installing COBOL IT Developer Studio on Windows. Now, let's proceed to launch the software from the desktop icon. Locate the shortcut on your desktop, and click on it to launch the software. After you have launched the software, you will see a splash screen for a few seconds. After the COBOL IT splash screen closes, you will see the workspace launcher window. The Eclipse platform stores your projects in a folder called a workspace. When first started, Eclipse prompts the user to locate their workspace. Enter the location of your workspace, and click OK to advance to the welcome screen. On the welcome screen, click on the arrow titled Workbench in the upper right hand corner to open the Developer Studio. This is the Developer Studio. The main components are the menu bar, the toolbar, the navigator window, the code edit windows, the outline window, and the compiler console window. The first thing we must do is configure our workspace. To configure your workspace, select the window function from the main menu bar. Then, select preferences from the drop down menu. The window preferences screens provide the interfaces for configuring a workspace. Configuring a workspace allows you to select preferred behaviors in the code editor. It also allows you set the compiler flags you will be using in your COBOL project. Finally, it allows you to select default behaviors. Let's take a look. This is the window preferences screen. The selections in the panel on the left can be expanded to provide more selections. For our exercise, we will make configuration settings in the general screens, the COBOL screens, and the run debug screens. Let's start with the general screens. The general screens provide interfaces for configuring your COBOL code editor, and for setting default behaviors. We will begin by looking at the text editor screen. Expand the general option to see the general screens. Expand the editors option. Select text editors. On the text editors screen, Select Show Line Numbers. This causes line numbers to display in the first six columns of the Developer Studio Code Editor. This can be very helpful in navigating within your source code, as you write your programs. Now, let's move on to the Workspace Settings screen. To access the Workspace Settings screen, expand the General option, in the panel on the left. Select Workspace. The Workspace Settings screen allows us to set certain default behaviors. On the Workspace screen, deselect build automatically. This prevents Eclipse from automatically syntax checking as you enter code in your code editor. Select Refresh using native hooks or polling. Select Refresh on Access. Select Save automatically before build. The Refresh and Save selections are optional, but considered best practices. Now, let's set our compiler flags in the COBOL screens. 
configuring the compiler settings. To access the compiler settings, expand the COBOL option in the panel on the left. Select Compiler. On the compiler screen, select Enable Source Settings. When you enable source settings, you are able to customize your setup scripts, and to set your compiler flags. We will begin by customizing our setup. Click on the Customize Setup checkbox on the Source tab. Customizing your setup. The Customize Setup options give us the ability to run scripts before the clean, build, run and debug operations are performed. In Windows, your COBOL IT setup script is called set env underscore COBOL IT dot bat. Enter the full path and name of your COBOL IT setup script into the entry fields labeled pre-build script and pre-clean script. These scripts will run before your clean or build executes. Enter the full path and name of your COBOL IT setup script into the entry fields labeled pre-run script and pre-debug script. These scripts will run before your run or debug executes. Now, let's set our compiler flags. Setting the compiler flags. In our exercise, we want the compiler to create compiled objects in a directory called object. Inside the make options tab, select the link tab. Select place output into directory. Enter object into the entry field. The OCompiler flag, followed by a directory name causes the compiled object to be generated in the directory that is named. Now let's set our debug compiler flag. Producing debugging information. Inside the Make Options tab, select the Debug slash Optimize tab. Select Produce Debugging Information. The G compiler flag. Adds information to the compiled object that is used by the debugger. The G compiler flag is required when debugging. Now, let's set a default behavior for the COBOL IT debugger perspective in the run debug screens. To access the perspectives screen, expand the run debug option. In the panel on the left, select perspectives. In the option labeled Open the associated perspective when launching, select the radio button titled Always. This will cause the developer studio to switch to the debugger perspective when any debug function is activated. Your workspace is now configured. Click the Apply button, and then click OK. Now, we will create and configure a project using the new project wizard. The new project wizard. To open the new project wizard, select file from the main menu bar. Then, select new from the drop down menu, and project from the subsequent drop down menu. Expand the COBOL option, and select COBOL project. Click the next button at the bottom of the dialog screen to continue. Create a COBOL project. On the screen titled Create a COBOL Project, you must enter the project name for your COBOL project. We will name our project Project 1. This causes a folder to be created under the workspace folder called Project 1. Click the Finish button to create Project 1. You will see that Project 1 has been added to your navigator window. In our configuration, we indicated that the compiler should create objects in a subs folder called object. To create a new folder called object, we will use the new folder wizard. The new folder wizard. To open the new folder wizard, right click on project 1 in the navigator window. Select new from the drop down menu, and folder from the subsequent drop down menu. In the folder dialog window. Enter object in the entry field titled folder name. Click the finish button at the bottom of the dialog screen. The new folder is displayed in the navigator window. After exiting the new folder wizard, you will see that the object folder has been added as a subfolder under project 1. We will now use the new program wizard to create a new COBOL program in the root directory of project 1. 
the new program wizard. We will use the new program wizard to create a new COBOL program. To open the new COBOL program wizard, right click on project 1 in the navigator window. Select new from the drop down menu, and COBOL program from the subsequent drop down menu. In the create program dialog window, project 1 has been selected as the source folder. Enter the name of your program, hello.cbl in the name entry field. Click the finish button at the bottom of the dialog screen. This will create a new program in the code editor. The new program in the code editor. You will see that hello.cbl has been added underneath project 1 in the navigator window, and that the developer studio code editor has opened, with a tab titled hello.cbl. The developer studio is COBOL aware, as you will see, as we enter the code for this program. Let's start writing this COBOL program. Hello.cbl is a simple program. Type in the text. Note that as you type, the outline window updates. The outline window is COBOL aware. It will identify data items, as well as paragraph and section names. The code editor is also COBOL aware. Reserved words are automatically capitalized. A color scheme is applied to differentiate between strings, variable names, and paragraph names. We have finished coding, so let's proceed to compile our program using the clean function. The clean function forces a compile of all of the programs in your project. To use the clean function, select the project function from the main menu bar. Then select clean from the drop down menu. On the clean dialog window, use the default settings. Click OK. This will cause our program to be compiled, using the compiler flags we set when we configured our workspace. The compile will create output in your compiler console window. Let's take a look. The compiler console window displays the output of the compile command. This display is the same as you would see on your console window if you had run the compiler from the command line. Note that the compiled objects have been generated in the object folder. We will now create a run configuration to allow the runtime to locate the compiled objects, and run the hello program. Run configurations. To create a run configuration for a program, right click on the program name in the navigator window. Select runners from the drop down menu, and then select run configurations from the subsequent drop down menu. This will open the run configuration wizard. This is the run configuration wizard. In the panel on the left, select COBOL program. Then, to create a new configuration, click on the new launch configuration button on the toolbar. This will open the run configuration wizard. The run configurations wizard has, four tabs, titled main, runtime, environment, and common. Select the main tab. The main tab allows you to name your runtime configuration, and to associate it with a specific source file. Name your new run configuration hello.cbl. Your project is project 1. Your program is hello.cbl. Now, select the runtime tab. The runtime tab. The runtime tab allows you to set your pre run and pre debug scripts. Verify the settings of the pre run script and the pre debug script. If they require changing, Deselect the Use Project Settings checkbox and change them. Now, select the Environment tab. The Environment tab. The Environment tab allows you to set runtime environment variables that are needed by your program. Click the New button to create a new environment variable. In the Name Entry field, enter cob underscore library underscore path. In the Value Entry field, Enter object. Click OK, click apply, and then click close. This completes your run configuration.
We are now ready to run our program. Run the Hello program. To run the Hello program, click on the Run button on the main toolbar. Hello world. Hit enter to terminate the program. Run the Hello program with debug. To run the Hello program with debug, click on the debug button on the main toolbar. This will run the program in the debugger perspective. To single step through your program, click on the step into button on the debug toolbar. At the end of the program click on the terminate button on the debugger toolbar. The debugger perspective provides you with a feature rich COBOL debugger. We will examine the features of the debugger perspective in more detail in the getting started with the COBOL IT debugger perspective training module. Summary In this module, we have reviewed the interfaces for configuring a workspace in the developer studio. We have demonstrated the new project, new folder, and new program wizards. Finally, we have shown you how to compile and run a COBOL program. We have run a COBOL program in both the developer studio perspective, and in the debugger perspective. For more detailed information, and the very latest reference documentation, please visit the doc folder under your COBOL IT home directory. We encourage you to continue using the COBOL IT online training program. Thank you.